that is the field measurements, leaving accurate estimation methods are the most costly effective way of noise measurements. The ability to assess and predict traffic noise is required for creating a noise-free environment needed by all. Since 1950s, researchers have been developing different models, mathematical models, in order to predict the traffic noise. And artificial intelligence models like AMFIS, which proved to be effective in modeling other complex uh, processes like the noise traffic mo uh, noise than the classical models. So here we are going to apply AMFIS, which is hybrid of the ANN and the Fari inference system. Uh, the objectives of the research first is to, to model and evaluate the performance of the AMFIS in predicting the traffic noise of Onitsha Metropolis in Nigeria. Also compare the performance of the AMFIS model with multilinear regression models and other empirical models. Also, we develop noise maps for different times in the study area. So materials, we first obtain the field data of the traffic noise which was simultaneously measured with the traffic volume in the area. And then we de develop different AMFIS models using different input combinations with MASLAB 2018. Then the performance evaluation was done using the determination coefficient and the root mean square error. Then lastly, uh, then we compare the performance of these AMPIS models, the regression models, and other empirical models that are used. Then we develop the noise maps using inverse distance weight method with RGIS 10.0. This is just like the study area. The data is collected from 12 different locations. And for each observations, we have recorded 60 minutes observation of the noise, con noise equivalence, number of two and three wheel vehicles, light motor vehicles, heavy motor vehicles, and the total vehicle equivalent. And in these 12 locations selected, two are in market areas, two in low density areas, two in high density residential areas, and three locations along bus, busy roads, and motor parks. The measurements were taken between 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning, then 11 to 12 at noon, then 2 to 3 p.m. at the afternoon, and in the evening, it was also measured between 5 to 6. The traffic count was done manually and the measurement was done using the sound level meter in accordance with the ICC standards. These are just the summary of the data. We have the number of cars, the light vehicles, heavy vehicles, total volume, which is the summation of the cars, light vehicles, and the heavy vehicles, and the actual, uh, the actual noise level, equivalent noise level at the area. So by so, uh, the noise at each location is because we have data from the markets, junctions, passenger loading parks, high density residential areas, low density residential areas. It was seen that in the markets, the noise level is much higher than in other places. And surprisingly, in the passenger loading parks, the noise level is low. So before developing the models, we have done like a correlation matrix to see that which factors are more relevant so that we can have a good uh, combination in the models. So the model was developed using the AMFIS uh, in March 2018. We have many combinations. As you see, we tried CV and LV. We tried the light vehicles and heavy vehicles. Also, light vehicles and the total traffic. Then the third, uh, fourth model, CV, LV, HV, and finally, the fifth model we have, LB, HB, Q, uh, and Q, which is the total traffic. And we have seen that this model has performed much far than the other models' combinations. So the results we obtained in this uh, AMFIS model was compared with other empirical methods. And these empirical methods include that of the Burgess, CSTB, Greaves, and LLS90. So here we computed the results for, from each model and also the ANN. As we can see that since uh, the performance evaluation was done using RMSC and DC, we can see that AMFIS has higher value of DC and low percentage error compared to other models. So this is just a scatter plot 
between the multilinear regression results and the Amphis model. And we can see that the uh, computed results using the Amphis is much better than the linear regression models. So these are the noise maps in the morning and in the afternoon. And as we can see that the noise level, as we have seen, is much, much higher at Eureka Street during the morning, which is, uh, a, uh, which is a high density area. And also for the between 11 to 12, the data is there. And we can see that here, also at the park, at the afternoon, it's very low, the noise. And in the evening, we have the highest part, the highest noise level at so from the noise maps, we can be able to say that the noise level in the study area is 76.55 decibel, which is much higher than the recommended noise level, which is 65 in other countries, but for the European countries is 55 decibel. As you can see that it is 21.55 uh, decibels higher than the recommended noise level. And also during the morning hours, Chisco Park has the highest uh, highest noise level and Peace Mass Park, RTC Park at 5 a.m. The maximum noise level was observed at Obudu Uko residential area, which is a low density residential area. The conclusions is like the noise level in this area is very high and in the evening, the, the noise is much higher than during the morning hours. And the residential areas we are found to have higher noise level in the sea where the marketplaces experience least noise from traffic. Amphis model has demonstrated higher prediction ability than the regression models by increasing the efficiency by up to 52% in training and 50% in testing. Thank you.